Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your April 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Libra please? Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, we have, oh wow, <laughs> it's your energy, the Empress, Venus in Taurus, Venus is your ruler. Very beautiful energy, the Empress. Okay. Message for Libra, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for Libra. Message for Libra. We have Peaceful Resolution. Finding some peace or things becoming calm again the empress is quite a nurturing energy as well so maybe some healing nurturing going on there too let's pull some more cards so i'm going to pull four cards roughly works out as one card per week though divine timing and all that the energies and messages may overlap then we'll clarify go deeper into the message libra and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always okay Message for Libra, please, angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Librans, thank you, for April 2021. Okay, first cards are out. We have the Eight of Swords and we have the Ace of Cups. Two of Swords. Three of Wands. Page of Swords. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Libra, please. Angel Spirits Guides for April 2021. Nine of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. We have the Two of Cups Libra with the Three of Wands. And we have the Nine of Wands with the Page of Swords. Bottom of the deck we have the Hanged Man. Okay, okay, Libra. The Empress is a card of abundance. She is a card of lacking for nothing, feeling fulfilled. Creation, she's also a symbol of creation, so creating a new reality for yourself. She is very much linked to new beginnings for that reason because she represents new reality unfolding. Um, birth of something new can be in terms of love, romance, relationships or next level um, can also be to do with um, money, career, finances. It feels in this instance, Libra, there's something beautiful happening here. Um, something that is restoring peace, you know, there's definitely an energy of peace. I don't see any arguments here. What I do see is you potentially being conflicted or the other person in this relationship may be being conflicted. If it's a relationship, that's how I see this peace coming to light. There is peace restored. There is the birth of something new happening here or next level energy, uh, creating something new. So she is a wonderful card of nurturing, of growth. yeah feeling the beauty you know feeling that beauty energy um seeing the beauty of life and manifesting something new yeah
I definitely get this energy there. The Ace of Cups is clearly a new beginning or a new phase, next level. It, it feels in this instance either this could be a new relationship or it could be a next level energy here. Because it's almost kind of like Libra that somebody is either wanting a new relationship with you or wanting to move to the next level of a relationship. And I'm definitely getting this energy of you're guarding your independence. You know, this nine of pentacles, will I have to give this up in order to move, you know, in order to accept this ace of cups, do I have to sacrifice this? It's interesting because I'm definitely getting that hangman as an energy of, of sacrifice. Do I have to sacrifice one for the other? You know, and it's the, the way our mind can play tricks on us, impose, this is self-imposed limiti limiting beliefs, you know, negative beliefs, things that keep us stuck, things that stunt our progress towards allowing this in. You know, so it's almost like this mental block is blocking this kind of opportunity, either new love or next level relationship for some of you. Um... It feels very beautiful. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning that is joyful, you know, it's happy. It is an uplifting energy. You feel fulfilled, you know, you feel content, you feel the joy, the happiness, the the buzzing energy of, of what this brings. It feels very, very beautiful indeed. <coughs> So there's definitely an energy if you're offered this cup of joy here. And with this Empress, that this is the beginnings of something new that is it, the creation of something new here that's beautiful. But there is some kind of block, restriction, self-imposed limitation, barrier, putting up barriers maybe, because there's a feeling of defending or protecting your independence. Nine of Pentacles is an independent energy. It can be a card of, you know, I, I'm independent. I earn my own money. I feel secure in my own right. You know, I have a level of security, stability, success in my life. I stand in my own abundance, you know, and it's almost kind of like you feel this new love threatening you in some way. And that's why you're kind of on the fence. That's why I see you're on the fence, Moon in Libra. Um, because, you know, it's to do with this kind of... It feels to do with a relationship here. It, feel, it feels in this situation, this is somebody not wanting to see the truth or not making up their mind or not being clear on a union, you know? Uh, now, this can be moving in with somebody. For some of you, this could be moving in with somebody, moving, you, there may well be an opportunity to move in with someone, and you're kind of guarding your independence here, or you're, you're scared about your independence, or losing that level of independence. Um, it can also be building a new relationship as well. You know, this can be collaboration, partnership energy you know two people who have common goals common interests building something solid for the long term so i definitely feel in this energy here libra your it feels like a guarded energy it feels like it, you're threatened in some way and it feels like your independence is threatened by this offer this beautiful offer and opportunity and you're in your this is somebody who's just weighing something up not making their mind up on a situation because, you know, there's this energy of being guarded. The three of, of Wands is the beginnings of manifesting something. You know, the Three of Wands is a card of... Um, it can be a card of expansion, foresight. And it definitely feels for some of you, you're... There is definitely an energy of you're getting your head around something, what this offer and opportunity is. You know, the Two of Cups is, it can be love, an offer of love. Now that can be new love or next level love. And I'm definitely feeling for some of you that it's linked with this. Someone's offering you love, either new love or to move in with them. Next level. It feels like you're coming around to the possibility. You know, this is about embracing growth here. 
I definitely get this energy here, Libra, of slowly but surely. It feels like someone just needs to give you some time and space because we have these threes here. The Empress is three. We have three here. We have three here. So there's definitely this energy of manifesting something new um, or next level energy. Sowing new seeds for future growth. The time is right. The soil is perfect. The seeds are ready for planting. The conditions are perfect. And that's what the Empress is telling you. This is so timely right now for real growth and abundance and reaping rewards and that kind of energy. Um, but there is a level of res reservation. But it feels like you're coming around to the possibility of, of, of growth, of going for something. Yeah. This Nine of Wands, Libra. What's holding you back? And wondering if you're prepared to make that sacrifice. Um, which is an interesting energy. I mean, this can also be about wait until something becomes clear to you and then make your mind up. But I'm definitely getting this, this energy of feeling that you're sacrificing one thing to gain another. And the message is, it feels there's a need to be all inclusive here with the Empress. She is somebody who it allows herself to just be. She is somebody who is very connected to who she is. She is somebody who is um, very capable of being in her own space, in her own light. But there's a level here of of the ability to create something around you now is so great. The birth of something new. And for some of you, it definitely feels that you're going to get that clarity. I mean, the Page of Swords is mental clarity, can be communication. Can also be a card of, uh, it can be a card of a new way of looking at something, a new way of thinking again look at something new maybe with that hanged man energy as well new perspectives is how you're going to get the clarity because it, it definitely feels in this situation what's been holding you back there may well be a level of of looking at something in a different way in order to see the way forward and finally make your mind up um and it definitely feels for some of you that you are going to get the clarity towards the end of the month in which way you want to go with regard to this opportunity. But if it, it feels very beautiful, I have to say, it feels like this, it feels like you're finding peace and it definitely feels for some of you, you will come to that peaceful resolution. You will come to that state of, of clarity that you need. But there's definitely this fierce um, independent energy that I'm getting with you. And again, this need to, the, the Eight of Swords, you know, negative thinking, negative boundaries, barriers, self-limiting beliefs. It feels for some of you that, that it is, there is maybe a need to look at something in a different perspective, not look at it as sacrifice, but to actually look at it in a different way. Because there's definitely an energy of, of to overcome what's holding you back, the reservation. So I'm going to pull a final card, Libra. Final, final message for Libra, please. Just one card, please. Final message for Libra. Any other advice, please, Angel Spirits Guides for April 2021? Any other advice, please, for Libra, April 2021? Any other advice for Libra, please, for April 2021? Okay. Yeah. Six of Cups. So Six of Cups is, yeah, it definitely feels for some of you finding your joy. You know, this feels like reconnecting to your happiness. Um, this is also a card of joy. Yeah. If you've been dealing with memories of the past as well, Libra, I definitely get for some of you, if that's what's been holding you back, you know, if that's what's you've been, if, if past experiences is what's stopping you from committing to moving forward, there's definitely this energy of you're going to get the clarity that you need. And again, the Six of Cups is just a card of joy as well. Um, 
yeah, happy equilibrium, getting this happy equilibrium restored back in your life or finding the happy equilibrium. And I feel that it's in this situation, the peaceful resolution. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Libra, please. Final message for Libra. Final message for Libra, please. Angel Spirits Guides for April 2021. Thank you. Yeah, we have wail, tenderness, show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. It might well be, you know, this nine of wands can sometimes be a past journey, you know, can hold you back, you know, it's that kind of energy. Um, it feels in this energy, Libra, there is definitely something here that it feels like is, is making you fiercely defend your independence and wanting to protect it. And it feels because you, it's almost like you don't want the past repeated. It feels like that kind of energy. Um, but there is definitely some kind of new opportunity. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles is manifesting something new in relationships. It feels like something solid, stable, secure, you know, that the Ace of Pentacles is something that you can trust, something that you can build on. So if that helps bring clarity to a situation, that's beautiful for you. Um, but it's also moving, relocating. So again, some of you might be offered to move in with somebody. Now, yes, this can also be somebody from the past too. Um, somebody from the past coming into your life. So again, that could you know, be why you're reserved as well. But nevertheless, this is about, there's definitely some kind of gift that the universe wants to bring you in. Um, everything is right. The conditions are perfect for planting new seeds, for the birth of something new. And yeah, there's definitely an energy of just embrace the abundance, embrace the beauty of life again, the opportunity to, to embrace the new creation um it's very beautiful to manifest something new so i hope you enjoyed the reading libra if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you all and i will see you next time thank you